What's going on guys, Chris Renick here, and today I hope is the last day of working on the GTR for a while. I hope that like once it goes in the dyno today, everything is just gonna be okay. There's gonna be no hiccups, but of course it is my car, so we have to expect hiccups. But I'm going to the shop right now. If you guys watched yesterday's video, you know that I took the axle out, which I'm driving to the shop right now, and I kind of regret it because the car was ready for the dyno, and I was like, you know what? Let's fix this axle boot. Let's not drive around, let's not mess around. Let, let, let's make this right. It's good that I did that, but at this point I kind of regret it because now I need to finish it and I'm gonna get dirty before my day starts. I don't know, I'm just complaining like a bitch, but we're gonna go to the shop right now. I'm gonna take care of that axle and we're gonna go on the dyno. Hopefully that trigger kit gives us a little more horsepower. It's other than that, we didn't change anything other than oil cooler and I doubt that's gonna make a difference. So let's hit the shop. All right, so I just got to the gas station and something different kind of happened. It doesn't really matter. It was just weird. So this dude in front of me, he bought a beer. And it's noon, so I don't know who buys beer at noon, but whatever. He asked for a bag, so the dude got a plastic bag. Just like a normal, like, your typical bag. I get a Red Bull, right? I don't ask for a bag or anything. I get the paper bag, which usually means that you're hiding your alcohol because I don't think you're allowed to have alcohol in public, but... I don't know, I just thought the whole thing was weird. I figured I'd share it with you guys, but this is the new kick, Orange Red Bull. Usually I'm like a classic OG kind of guy, but this shit is awesome. I've been drinking that every day, which I'm probably gonna have a heart attack by the time I'm 30, but <sighs> fuck them. So I've never actually taken apart an axle and like had to, I guess I did with the Roadster, but other than that, I never had to do this. And they give you a bottle of lube, like a full bottle of lube to put in the new boot, which I guess is pretty cool. It looks pretty gross. This is the lube that we put in the Roadster axle. Oh, really? This job is a hundred times easier on a vice. Last night I was trying to like step on the thing, use a screwdriver. Marcus pulls out a brass punch and a hammer and gets this um, needle bearing thingy off in like two seconds. So, if you know, you know. Okay, so the axle is all set. Thing looks brand new. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna just throw this thing back in. I'm gonna top off the diff fluid and fix my little oil leak that I had in yesterday's video because I guess I didn't tighten one oil line enough because it was a little difficult to get to. I tried my hardest to tighten it, but I guess my hardest wasn't good enough. So I'm gonna try my hardest, hardest. All right guys, so now the car is officially done. The axle is back in, the wheel is back on, everything is tight and everything is good to go. Topped off all the fluids just to make sure. I checked my oil about three or four times just to make sure that everything was A-OK. Okay, so now we're gonna go drive this to HP. We're gonna go put it in the dyno and see if it makes more power So when I said this car is gonna be making more power I didn't mean 20 30 horsepower or anything like that. I just meant the PRP Trigger kit is gonna allow me to actually rev this car all the way where it's supposed to because with the stock cam angle sensor It was kind of cutting me off at 6900 due to the issue we were having so with me being able to rev more and the trigger kit actually reading the engine properly we should make around I'm hoping five to 10 horsepower. Um, it is another humid day, it's about 90 degrees out. So honestly in Florida, it's a hit or miss. So I mean, at the end of the day, if I'm making the same horsepower and I can just kinda free rev my car, have everything run smoothly, then at the end of the day, I'm really not gonna be upset. I just didn't want to keep driving the car with that cam angle sensor issue just because like, I spent a lot of time on this car, I wanna do things right, so. We are going to start this bag it all up right now. And I checked for oil leaks about 100 times. I tightened every single fitting, so we should be A-OK. -okay. This thing starts up like a charm. Everything is good. I am pumped. Engine bay is looking pretty solid. I do need to clean it up a little bit. I want to get this polished and stuff, but that time will come with that. I'm just happy she's back up and running again. Let's bring it to HP. While we're dynoing the GTR, I'm actually gonna be bringing the blueberry over to the body shop real quick. Just get the front fenders rolled. So they didn't roll them before because we didn't think we needed it. But when you actually reverse, it pulled this out a little bit. And like, this is okay, it's 100% fixable. It didn't like actually mess with the shape of the fender or pull it out or anything. So since I saw this, this is the reason why I haven't been driving it. I've just been waiting for these to get rolled because I don't wanna do it professionally. I don't wanna do it myself, so. I'm just gonna bring this over there so they can fix this, and this is gonna be rolled so we won't have this problem anymore. All right guys, so we're here, we're at HP. It is on the dyno, ready to roll. Um, like I said, I would be very satisfied with it just staying the same and just fixing all of the problems. We just triple checked the timing and everything and triple checked oil, everything is 100% good to go on the car, so Jack is going to go for the pull. 
see what it does. And Marcus is showing. Ooh, dude, the those are the style 32s, right? Yeah, custom. Those are sick. Is that what you're going for? I mean, maybe. Yeah. And we also adjusted the cam gears a little bit. So I didn't even tell you guys, Marcus just shaved. You look like Hag Garage Marcus Park. So you look like right now. <laughs> I, think, I think he's starting a new, a new trend. A new trend. A reverse mustache. Did you do that on purpose? Are you trying to grow a mustache on the bottom around. lip? Dude, that's, that's, that's I mean, mine as well, right? You look good, though. Throw down in the comments if he looks good. I think you look great. We still need to buff out your head. I like, I like the beard look better. You like the beard look? Yeah. I think that's such a good trend. That'll probably be like on one of those like North Korean like. Because I can't, haircuts. I can't grow hair on the top of my head anymore. So you know the bald spot. There. <laughs> so like instead of having the bald spot, I shave it. So just gotta buff it out, dude. And I just grow more hair. Yeah. Are you? I'm not losing my hair yet, but since Mark has shaved his beard, maybe I have to cut my hair. Everyone bitched about that, but fuck you. Pull. All right, guys, so we're on like pull eight or nine. What we've been doing was we've been advancing the intake cam a lot, and it's really increasing like torque and a little bit of pull time. So we're at the same boost. Uh, Play with the cam gears to try to get a little bit more uh, efficiency of the motor. So I think we're getting. We're it's it's going good so far. Yeah. We advanced the intake cam gear a little more. Let's see what it did. to see the before and after graph. It's gonna be huge. Oh, sure from where we started, from where we ended. You can't run wheel spacers anymore. <laughs> you saw how much it squats? It goes all the way I saw the it. <laughs> so right now we did everything we wanted on the intake side, so now we are taking the exhaust side off to adjust the cam gear. And Roberto, man, how's it going? <laughs> That's for you. <laughs> Thank you, dude, I appreciate that. It is a little annoying to do the exhaust cam because every single time we touch it, we have to reset the timing, like the base timing. So we're just gonna probably leave that out and leave like the kit on it. But what are we gonna go? We're gonna retard it a little bit? Uh, we are retarded. Yeah. Let's see if this makes a difference. All right guys, so we've been playing with the cam gear so much that the um, cams are really showing what they're supposed to sound like here. We're very choppy. Well, I don't know if they're supposed to sound No, like they're supposed to sound like it in my book, okay? <laughs> Hey man, I like it, okay? <laughs> I'm excited. I'm gonna film the dyno pulse through the back now so you guys can actually hear it. Hopefully the mic doesn't get distorted, but this thing, by the time Jack or Roberto are done messing with this car, it's gonna feel 100% different. Like, I am so excited to drive this. Here we go. Okay, so Jack and Roberto just got done messing with this thing, and Jack, you want to walk us through? This is huge. Well, basically, Roberto and I just adjusted cam timing to basically dial in this setup. The max power, you're not going to see like a huge gain. Mm -hmm. Which we weren't really going for. We, really we were going for torque, really. Right. We wanted to try and get this thing on power sooner. Mm -hmm. Same exact boost, no change in boost, just cam timing. And this is and the this, difference. And this is the difference. So <laughs> what we're looking at here is roughly 90, foot, 90 horsepower and 90 foot-pounds of torque at 5,200 RPM. Insane. So, or actually more about 5,500 5, RPM. But like if you so, see, even from like here, it's, it's going up, you know? Yeah. So there's just a big power difference and torque difference throughout the whole graph. Yeah. which is super cool to think about. And that was literally just messing with the cam timing, really. Just cam timing. I, I didn't know that. I mean, that's super cool. I always wondered, like, why buy adjustable t cam gears? And this, this is why. Yeah. This is insane. Maybe. So, I mean, this car is going to feel like a totally different animal, huh? It's going to be, it's going to be <laughs> Yeah. Doing. <laughs> no, this is so cool. I'm so pumped on this. Take it down and try it. Oh, hell yeah. I'm ready. Are we going to get gears to the SR? 
<laughs> oh yeah, we have to. Get gears for everything at this point. If it makes this big of a difference. Gas on the dyno, though. Yeah. Couple burn, couple wow. burn marks. <laughs> So, all in all, very successful tune day. I am so excited to drive this thing right now. Like, I can't even express it, but we just have to pop up the dyno real quick. We're gonna roll this out. I'm gonna get Jack's computer out for him and go for a spin because this thing is, it's gonna feel like a new car. All right, so this is the first pull. I'm not gonna lie, I'm nervous. You're nervous? Yeah, we're just gonna do a first and second right now because we don't have a lot of room. Yeah. But even that should make a huge difference. Yeah, you should be able to tell the difference immediately. Go for it. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Huge difference. You like that? Oh, like you're not you're not waiting anymore, you know? Yeah. It's like it actually comes on strong and fast. Yeah, it comes on good. Oh man, that is one huge difference. I'm very excited to see what it like third and fourth feels like because that's gonna be where the real money shot is. Yeah. Thank you so much. I said I cannot wait. I don't even know what I cannot wait for. Yeah, you're done. I don't even know what to say anymore. You don't have to wait. <laughs> it's here. It's now. Oh, shit. I'm like sweating. You want a water? I'm good. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, once again, it is getting late. This video is not over. I need to like actually go home right now and edit some videos because I am super behind right now. Like, I've honestly been working day and night. Like, from the moment I wake up, which is pretty late, but the moment I wake up to the moment I'm about to go to sleep, I'm at the shop working on this thing. So it definitely feels good to be driving in this car again and it making so much more power from two to five thousand RPMs. It's honestly insane how different this car feels like before not gonna lie i wasn't too pleased with the performance of this car but now it's like it's night and day it's, it's pretty responsive and honestly the the lag of the turbos it doesn't even matter that much because we've gained over 100 foot pounds of torque in the mid-range section so like you don't even feel it and we gained around 100 horsepower in the mid-range as well so like this car picks up super fast i can't wait to show you guys but right now i just want to focus on getting home I just want to drive the car right now, make sure there's no bugs and everything. Not going to lie, hit third twice, but I'm going to say fourth for you guys, the official reaction, but going to go home, edit some videos. Video should be out in an hour, which that means shit to you guys, so talk to you when I do. Oh, she zoomed in. She's, you all right? Oh, bugs. Yeah. Welcome to Florida. Well, guys, it is night. Um, we're going to do some polls during the day, but... Courtney just got in the car and I feel like I just have to film like before I boost. You know, do you want to just hold this? So you know you know how it felt like first and second before. Yes. Tell me if you feel different. Okay. Ready? Yes. middle of the rpm range in a hundred foot pounds of torque in the mid range not touching boost not touching anything that that's what cam gears can do adjustable cam gears if you guys are looking for like mid-range torque and horsepower i highly recommend it because the gains are it, it's stupid you're stupid if you don't buy them because the gains are huge but we're gonna go to buffalo wild wings <laughs> Good afternoon everyone, today is the next day. I figured I'd give you a little cold start of the GTR because the cams do sound super aggressive now and this car is just coming together so good and I am so pumped for it. Let's go drive. Oh my God, let me tell you, today is a good day because like, you know, the GTR is just running, it's hitting full boost, everything is good, no hiccups, no nothing. We're filling up with the 85. I have a feeling that every single time I drive this car, is gonna be I need to come to the 85 station and fill the car because like this thing under boost is a gas guzzler but it's okay 560 wheel I'm very happy with it I don't know if I told you guys that but top end it may it ended up making 560 so that's cool we picked up another 10 horsepower like I said I would be happy if we picked anywhere from 5 to 10 horsepower and we did pick up that 10 horsepower so that's cool I mean I doubt I'm gonna feel it but anyways 
85. She is a gas guzzler. I just had to stop at the shop real quick to check out the blueberry because as you guys know, yesterday the fenders got rolled. So now we don't have to deal with any rubbish issue. We have plenty of clearance and everything is good there. So don't gotta worry about rubbing these. Right now we are worried about the GTR. I've just been having fun driving it all day. Not gonna lie to you guys. Let's go for a few pulls before we end this one. I know we didn't do a lot of polls in the video, and I do apologize, but tomorrow's video we are gonna go do something sick. I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie, you guys maybe can guess it, you know, Friday night, GTR, she's back together. Before we do this poll, I just want to give a big shout out to Marcus, Jack, and Roberto from Horsepower Logic. Like, they really have helped me a lot with this build, and yes, it does suck that the first engine did get rod knocked, but you know what? It doesn't matter anymore. We're here, we're making 560 wheel, and I couldn't be happier. So with that being said, we're gonna do a first, second. I wish we can do third here, but Mexico is not long enough, so. You ready, Courtney? You wanna just film this so they can actually get like the full teaser? All right, here we go. guys like the video give it a thumbs up if you guys want to subscribe for more subscribe for more i am sweating my balls off right now i'm gonna go to the gas station get a red ball because we have a long night i'm just gonna say it i hope we can get into the 10s tonight wish me luck i'll see you tomorrow